thanks so much for tuning into my channel unique world and in today's video i'll be showing you how to etch a leopard print and it's going to be placed on a wine glass so definitely stay tuned and make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already this will be a really cute way to drink your beverage or your wine or to even have a candle holder to hold your candle in or have your pen container or holder to decorate your desk with. First, what you need to do is use some rubbing alcohol to make sure that your wine glass is completely clean. And I actually um, got this paper towel rack from um, Dollar Tree and it's really great to hold your wine glass so that you can accomplish this look. Here I have the leopard print printed from the Cricut um, which I just googled it um, leopard print SVG and I'm just going to stick these vinyls on the wine glass and I'm just going to place it all around the wine glass so it has that leopard um, print throughout. Remember, there's no specific way of placing the leopard print on the wine glass. Um, just make sure that you fill in all the spaces that's needed, but also make sure that you don't get too close to um, each leopard print. In the comments below, let me know if you've ever etched glass before. And also, did you like it or you didn't like it? Or what did you not like about it? you put your leopard prints all around the wine glass we're going to start etching this is the cream that i got from hobby lobby and it was 22.99 but um if you go to hobby lobby and you use your 40 percent discount that would definitely help uh, with the price of the etching cream also when you spread on your etching cream you want to make sure that you put a thick coat around your glass so that it can give it that darker etch look. <laughs> After you have completely covered your wine glass, you're going to make sure that you wait about 20 to 30 minutes. 20 minutes later. After rinsing it off with cold water, it's time to remove the vinyl. All the tools that I use to do this wine glass will be in the description below. And here's what your cup should look like after you've removed all the vinyl. If you like what you see, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss another DIY video from Unique World. Thank you.